I'm out here in my backyard where I've made these black morel sclerotia beds and nothing came up this year you probably figured that by now since I never made a video of any kind of success and my thoughts on it are probably well twofold one the variety of morels I used the angusticeps like a like an ash tree apparently to host with but unfortunately, a lot of, around here, a lot of ash trees are dead, and it probably takes some time for the mushroom to form a, uh, a relationship with the tree roots. Usually that, usually that happens with tree saplings, I've noticed that. But, uh, but I did have a few non-morel mushrooms pop up, just probably because there was sawdust to eat, some hymenopellus, and I think maybe... Uh, couple Plutus Cervinus mushrooms came up and another thought is that maybe I let things get too dry because the mushrooms well the morels in Ohio did come up for everyone else pretty early this year around the first week of April and there was a point where it got pretty warm and dried out about that time and I really wasn't on watering it or keeping the areas wet until about May. So perhaps I let things get too dry and it just kind of broke the, the growth cycle. But I got some good news. Let's go inside and check it out. I received a package in the mail today from the Morel King. If you don't know who the Morel King is, Check out his website at morelcultivation.com. He actually contacted me through my videos several months ago because uh, he saw me doing the black morels. And uh, he got me interested in trying some of his cultures. And what I have here, you can see I have a Morcella Americana. See all the sclerotia growing in there. I have Morcella vulgaris, a little bit darker color. Morcella importuna, a nice size sclerotia forming at the, the center there and around it. And Morcella rufo bruna. A lot of little sclerotia around the perimeter. So, four different strains, all with different characteristics. Now, they all have different uh, environmental requirements. Now, like I talked about the black morels with the angusticeps that I did, that they like the ash trees as a host, well, these vary too. And what I really want to focus on, though, is these two varieties, the Morcella Rufo Bruna and the Importuna, because those two varieties do not require a host tree. They will just fruit right from mulch landscape areas. Um, sometimes they're called landscape morels. But because they don't require that host of a tree, that means doing any outdoor projects with them is probably going to have a lot more success. And for the most part of what I've seen, the Morel King uses those in his uh, outdoor projects. Now this year, he grew a 300 foot row of Morels popping up everywhere and Morels around his property and stuff. So he's had lots of success doing this and he guarantees that if I follow everything he teaches me, that I will have plenty of morellas popping up everywhere on my property as well. And so, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to follow his instructions to a T. I'm not going to I'm not going to bend any rules. I want to make sure this works just right. And I'm pretty sure a lot of that's going to have to do with how they are placed in the ground. You know, whether it's covered in soil or mixed, and the amount of moisture and how that moisture is applied to it. 
So let's talk about the individual strains themselves. Morcella rufo bruna is the uh, is the true landscape morel. It's also called the a gray morel because it'll have that kind of like ashy gray color. You can see the pictures of it. The importuna. It's a not really called landscape morel, I don't think per se, but it has the same properties. It's actually a black morel. Marcella vulgaris is one of the yellow morel morel species, and apparently it gets a bit larger too than your standard yellow morel. And then Morcella americana is, of course, native to North America, but has been found in other places around the world, supposedly. It also, too, is another type of yellow morel. So, four different types, you know, I'm, I'm bound to get one of them to work really well around here. And tomorrow morning I'll be making my own dishes from these masters, as well as putting them on culture slants to store them in the fridge. And ultimately, when they do work out, I'll be saving spores and working from spores. It does make me wonder though, like for instance, how this vulgaris culture doesn't have any sclerotia producing on it yet. If, uh, if that's culture specific or strain specific within the culture that you want to find the the isolates that produce the best and densest amount of sclerotia and then I know with uh, with any mushroom species that does produce sclerotia you can take a piece of the actual sclerotia itself and put it on a new dish and the mycelium will grow out and then you're guaranteed to have a uh, very good sclerotia producing mycelium. So yeah, these will go to dishes and long-term storage on slants. And then from dishes, they will go to liquid culture. And then my plan is to make a total of 24 uh, bags of grain spawn with them. And then each one of those bags of grain spawn will make 12 bags of sawdust spawn. And so, uh, let's see if I can, if I can do the math of that really quick. Let's see, 24 times 12, that'll be a total of 288 bags. If they, if they each weigh just six pounds a piece, that's about 1,728 pounds of spawn I'll be putting out. So, so about three times the amount. I have ideas to put them out in more burn areas kind of close to where I was putting them. And I'll probably reuse one of the beds that I've done. I'll have to ask the Morel King if I can just uh, mix in new spawn into it without any problem. And then I'm going to work on some of these um, raised rows that have been uh, shown to me by the Morel King that they're doing in China. You see in China they really have this mastered and they're exporting Morels all over. I mean, of course, you know, China is very big on every type of mushroom, even the king oyster species that I use originates from somewhere in China. So yeah, I got I got a lot of hope for that tech. Maybe try to use some coconut core or peat, see which works better. So wish me luck. Oh, that's probably the morel king getting back to me right now. All right, guys. Yeah, wish me luck, and I'll get to work.